So today's focus is themes again, but this time getting the themes and getting them together with some evidence. So to recap, in the previous lesson, we talked about what an idea was and um, you brainstorm some and I provide you with some examples of those. We also discussed what the difference between an idea and a theme is, which you may have understood or you might not have. And we also went through, therefore, what a message is as well. Um, today, we're focusing just on um, those themes. So we're taking that middle column that we worked through. Uh, and now we've got the thematic statements, we've got the messages, we've got it all together in one tidy grid. Hopefully you finished that the other day. If not, it's um, again in this PowerPoint to show you. So what we want to do today is build into having evidence of those themes. So that means events or scenes which help to show those themes, whatever they might be. Um, this is because we're working towards obviously essay writing and towards our close viewing example um, or our close viewing internal. So it's important that we have all those aspects together. So to remind you, these are the ideas, the themes and the messages. So the themes are what we're going to stick with. Um, ideas are a little bit simple. Messages might be a little bit tricky. So themes are somewhere in the middle. So the themes that we're looking at are finding a sense of belonging, the importance of friendship, the importance of having dreams and people are more than their disability. You also might have had a fifth one there as well. Hopefully you do, so you can come up with your own stuff, but if you don't, those are four themes in the text. So what you're going to do is you can draw two circles or any shape. You want one in the middle and a bigger one around it. If you are working on a computer and that's quite tricky, what you can do is just do them as a title and then underneath do them as bullet points. So what you're going to do is we're going to think about a theme and then we're going to add events or scenes that show that theme. So a theme that I think is very important to the text is the importance of friendship. So what I want to do now is come up with events or scenes that show that. So if you want to try to do this independently, you can pause the video in a moment, write in your book or write in your device or draw your circles like I've got here, draw your squares or triangles or whatever you want to do. Um, and you're going to try and think of scenes from the film. You can go back to your events list that you've got in OneNote and think about how they show the importance of friendship. OK, so if you want to do that independently, pause this now. And that should be as simple as that. If you haven't paused, um, that probably means you, that you want to see my one. So you're going to do this for two themes. I will show you importance of friendship and you're going to do a different one. So when I think about the importance of friendship, these are the scenes that I think or events that I think show that theme as evidence. So Tyler lets Zach join him. Eleanor searches for Zach. Tyler returns for Zach. Tyler protects Zach from bullies. Zach and Tyler talk about having a good heart or a good guy heart. Um, finding the saltwater redneck. Tyler and Zach after the preacher. They're sitting on their raft. It's a really nice moment. Um, and Tyler argues with Eleanor on the raft when he's defending Zach and saying that even though she doesn't say the R word, she still means the R word. So those are all scenes that I think show the importance of friendship. So if you need the inspiration, what you're going to do is pause the video and copy those down, either in the same format that I've got here, or you can copy them down in bullet points. If you've got other scenes that you think show the theme of the importance of friendship, then go for it, add those as well. So the idea is that now you have got this for one theme. So you've got one theme and a whole lot of evidence, so a whole lot of scenes that show it. What you're going to do now is do the exact same thing that I have done, but for a different theme theme. So if you need to, I'll put back, here we go. These are the themes. The themes are this middle column here. So pick one of these, or if you've got your own one, definitely pick one of them. Okay, and you're going to try to think of evidence, which means scenes or examples or events that help to show that. All right, assuming you are back and ready for the next step, you're going to choose one theme. So you've got the importance of friendship and one other. You're going to choose one scene. So if you look back there, those are a ton of scenes. I would pick one of them. Now you're going to watch that scene again. So you're either going to access the whole movie or go back to the clips that are there in files and watch that scene again. 
And now when you watch it, you're going to um, record what happens in that scene, so a description, and you're going to watch it again with a close viewing eye. This means you're going to look for film techniques. So that's why we've done some work on film techniques. But camera shots, dialogue, anything like that that you think helps to explore, all right, or helps to show that. So you're going to look at film techniques, things you can see and things you can hear that might help to show that theme. So you're going to write those down and try and record as many as you can manage. So pause this video, go back, watch the scene again, record what happens in the scene and record film techniques. If you wait for a moment, that's what I want you to do. OK, so I did it on the importance of friendship. I did it on the scene where Tyler returns for Zach. And here's my description. During the scene, Tyler has left Zach at the end of the road and has hit the ride to take him directly into the city. However, he has a moral dilemma about leaving Zach and gets out of the car to go find him again. They're my film techniques. Um, I've got them in bold there. A close-up, facial expressions, dialogue, dialogue again, a cut, and a long shot. So that is my exemplar of what I want you to do. So these are the instructions again. Choose a theme, choose a scene, watch the scene, record what happens, and record the film techniques. So this is building evidence, and that's it. That's all you're going to do. Um, the more detailed you do this, the better it's going to be. But you will now have, by the end of this lesson, uh, a theme, examples of that theme, another theme, examples of that, and then you've gone into detail with one scene from one theme with some film techniques. And you need that all done for the next lesson, so make sure you get that finished. Awesome.